Hi, Tupac. How you doing? Can you tell me how you doing today? Well, I just had to listen to the uh, prosecution's closing argument, and it was just so far from the truth that it really just has me drained at the end of the day. But I'm leaving it in the hands of the jury. I'm learning a lot about people's innermost fears in this trial because it's far. It's not even about my trial no more. It's just about loud rap music tattoo having thugs it's not even about me no more it's about you know some nightmare that these people having she's talking about thug life and all yeah, that trying like, to um he's definitely guilty anybody with thug life tattooed on their stomach is guilty what type of reasoning is that you know what i'm saying we got different backgrounds we come from two different places just because i look different than her doesn't mean that i'm a sodomizer or a raper They've said it in the... I can't understand why it's this close. They're talking about there's no evidence that I ever sodomized it, even though you put that all over the paper. And every time they take a quote out of this courtroom, they take a quote from out of her mouth, which is, you know, the stuff to put me in jail. It's nothing that's been true. I just want to print the facts so everybody can sort it out. My life is ruined because nobody has a chance to get the facts. And the fact is that there was no semen no found. No semen found, no forcible entry, no entry into the anal, no nothing, none of that. You know, no fingerprints on the no gun. No fingerprints on the guns, you know what I'm saying? The only time ever there was an act of sodomy, she admitted she did it to me. I should be, you know, putting charges on this girl who sodomized me on the floor of a dance club. Why am I in court, you know what I'm saying? Get my life ripped apart. But I'm here, I'm going to go through it just to show that I have faith in the American system. But for me to have faith in the American system, these juries and everybody else has to, you know what I'm saying, play the same role and to keep an open mind. I'm already convicted. My whole life has been turned around. I lost every job. I lost everything, every opportunity. I can't get, can't get buy cars, can't get rent, can't get none of that. But I'm still a survivor, you know. I'm still coming to court, still smiling, still signing autographs. But soon I'm going to go crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's up to the world. You know, America eats its babies. We, I'm, No matter what y'all think about me, I'm still your child, you know what I'm saying? You can't just turn me off like that. But that was in my room. I can't, you know, I don't know who owns the gun. How know? old are you, 23? 23. So you but, feel that your career is... Put, uh, yeah, it is. Why would I own a gun? I'm, 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 I've, um, I've registered guns, you know what I'm saying? I'm a legal owner of guns. In California. In California. So I came to New York and wanted to be an illegal gun runner now. You know, that's what they want you to believe. I want to start erasing... What? Come on, man. I, every... This is all about my image. This is, has nothing to do with me. This is all about my image. It's like MTV, all the papers, they building me up. Now they're destroying me on the same image that they perpetuated. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling records. This is what I do for a living. I'm selling records. Don't get it twisted. This is not my real life. This is not how my real life is supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be really having all these villains in my life. I'm not supposed to be having, you know, the, the um, Philadelphia, I can't do shows. All, everybody's already, I'm guilty. Even though the, the only crime I've been convicted of is fighting. Hitting somebody in the face with my fist, ever. Only crime. But I can't even go to Philly. I can't go to Texas. I can't go nowhere. I can't go nowhere. So you're maintaining your innocence. You I'm maintaining my innocence because I'm loud. I didn't shut up. But I didn't think they was gonna take it this serious. Me keep talking out. I didn't think it was gonna be a, a matter of life and death. I thought, well, I won't be super.